Alright, what we have here today is the brand new Valentine one and a almost brand new Stalker DSR. Also, I got the Bluetooth link to the V1 for the iPhone app and it works pretty well. I'll start by turning these on. Turn like I said, this is brand new. Bought it about a week ago. It's the latest one, latest software. Uh, the firmware is 3.8930. And this is the latest stalker. No heat sink. It's a newer counting unit. Also, it's got the brand new waterproof KA band antenna. The frequency of this unit is 34.7 gigahertz. What I did the other day, I did the test with this unit in the Valentine to determine what settings are the most optimum for the Valentine as far as quick trigger is concerned. Now, the way I've got this set up right now, here are the settings that I change from default. Everything else that I don't mention is default. So the bands, lasers on, X bands off, KA band is on, K band on, KU band off. False alarms, KA guard off, that's the most important one. And a special uh, pop is on. Alert persistence is on. Number five, which isn't in the app, I use the app to change the rest of these. This one you can't find in the app, so you have to do it the normal way. And I just put more responsive. Not sure if that has any effect on the performance. And so. This is in moving mode. The mode doesn't really matter when you're just testing quick triggers. V1. The only setting that's changed from what I said here is the KA guard. I turned it on. What I'll be doing is turn the transmitter on and off really quick. And I'll turn it on and off about the time that it takes to get a speed reading. With the KA guard on, and then I'll do it with the KA guard off. And we'll record how many times out of 20 it hit. So beginning, Valentine 1, Stalker DSR. Here's the first one. Okay. That was a mess. Okay, here's the second one. They hit that one. We gotta wait 10 seconds because the Valentine goes into a certain mode. Once it's triggered with that frequency and it sits there, that searches right around that frequency. That way, if you hit it again, it will catch it every time, even with alert, or even with K guard on. It's been about 10 seconds. We're gonna hit it again. Total miss. And I wait about five seconds for each hit. Here we go. Total miss. Again. Number six. Number seven. Another mess. Number eight, we're going to twenty. Number nine. 
another miss. Number nine. That one was a little slow. I accidentally did that. But we'll just put that down anyway. Everyone messes up sometimes. Okay, 10 seconds are up. We're going to hit it. Another miss. Number 11. Hit it. Wait another 10 seconds. Yeah, I should set that a little closer. Alright, it's been about 10 seconds. We're going to hit it again. Number 12 is a miss. Here's number 13. Hit 2 is a miss. Here's number 14. That 2 is a miss. This is a 15. Miss it. Sixteen. Pretty horrible, right? Not too bad, but pretty bad. <laughs> For all y'all out there that are testing these with a Bushnell K band or any K band, here's that one. Miss. 19. I'll tell you about the K band. Uh, okay, hit that one. 10 seconds. I'll tell you about that K band now. Uh, the K band. Uh, a lot less bandwidth than KA. It's going to pick it up way easier as far as pop or quick trigger is concerned. So just because it picks up KA or K band really well doesn't mean it's going to pick, pick KA up very well because KA is like 2700 megahertz. Okay, here's the last one. Total miss. Alright, so. Um, we've got one, two, three, four. Out of 20. Four hits, 20 misses. Now, in part two, we'll turn K Agar off and we'll see what kind of difference that makes. And you, you also might be saying, well, the antenna is too close, or you might also be saying the antenna is too close and not caused it to perform better. That's not true. I actually ran a test today with someone else, and that Valentine alerts to Quick Trigger at three miles, just as good as it does here. So the results are pretty consistent, and we'll be back with that KA guard off, like it should be, if you're wanting protection from Quick Trigger. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, I guess come back and watch the next one.